Am I recording? Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Ram. This is a rough approximation of a Saturn V rocket based on the Apollo 11 mission, and I'm just going to go ahead and start it going because it is... Where's the moon? There's the moon. The moon is approximately close enough to the right position for us to go to space to the moon right now, so I decided I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Now, this might not be 100% accurate because I don't quite know the full staging sequence for everything in the Apollo rockets and, uh, or the Saturn V rockets and, you know, the thrust weight ratios might not be right and all that sort of thing, but I at least got the general feel of it right, at least as far as I'm concerned, and I also set up the staging in such a way where I believe it's close enough or right enough for me. There is a slight problem in that it does wobble a little bit on the way to orbit. I have tested this thing as far as getting it into orbit before, but I have not tested it uh, beyond that. As you can see right now, as I start to um, tilt it over slightly, there is... Whoa. Okay, I thought I was about to lose control. There is some wobble, and because of that wobble, sometimes I like to... Um, just control it manually instead of using the SAS because sometimes the SAS will actually increase the amount of wobble I'm experiencing with this particular design which obviously is not what you want to have happen while you're flying to space it's not good for your design to, to, to wobble itself apart but you know whatever I'm not super worried about it um, there is quite a bit of Delta V in this I didn't actually pay attention to what the exact numbers are I just know that there's quite a bit, so I'm not worried about it. This is, of course, the very first time that I'm going to test taking this all the way to... Uh, let's go ahead and... Actually, let's turn that off for now. Okay, well, I hit that wrong. This is the first time that I'm going to take it all the way to the moon, though. The only test I've done with this before now is to... Oh, dear. The only test I've done with this before now is, uh... That was supposed to... Oh! I accidentally started the next stage too soon. Why is my SAS off? Or rather, why did it get turned off? Wow, my pitch control is bad. Alright, well, anyhow... I tried to get the engines right for all stages, and, uh, the staging... The way the staging was supposed to happen with those multiple rockets is I took too I, I, I separated the second one too quickly and it crashed back into us, the one that had the little payload fairing, and then this had its own little eulage motors essentially to get this stage going before uh, starting the rocket engines on this stage. And as you can see, we're already going to make a 70 kilometer orbit pretty easily, so I'm actually going to throttle down ever so slightly, get us down lower to the atmosphere. Uh, this should be a decent throttle, around 50%. Yeah, I'm not going to worry too much about it. We'll definitely get into orbit, no problem. Um, in fact, technically, I don't think you're supposed to get into orbit on stage two. You're supposed to, like, get very nearly to orbit, and then from there go to stage three, and I don't know. I don't remember exactly. See, that's, that's the problem. I also don't remember if this is... Yeah, I can go ahead and fire that now, because we don't need it anymore. Except for some reason didn't work properly, and now it's, uh, well, it's trying to kill us, so that's good. I'm just gonna... Okay, we're just gonna have to live with that for now. That's, um, that's an interesting issue. It is, uh, interfering with our ability to control the direction we're pointed. Oh! Well... Ooh, I hope that wasn't important. Um, looks like we're not going to the moon. And I mean, to be fair, neither is the rocket. It's, uh, I mean, it's going to get into orbit for sure. But, uh, actually it might not. It should get into orbit. Um, I definitely don't want to lose our command pod, but I do want to follow this until it goes all the way to space as well. Where's our command pod? Why are we not seeing it? And this thing is turning around entirely to start deorbiting itself again, but it's also going to run out of fuel fairly quickly. See, I'm really curious to see if this will manage to get into orbit. Ooh, it's very close. 
Oh, there we go. It's back in orbit, and it's about to run out of fuel right now, so it will definitely continue on into orbit. And there's where the command pod is. All right, let's uh, turn the debris off for now. Let's go ahead and switch to it. And uh, you still have a glitchy tower in you, so I'm going to try spinning us a little bit to see if I can get that off. And now we're spinning in a completely different direction. I'm just going to go ahead and hit all the buttons. Yeah, this is doing weird things to us. And apparently we're under acceler- Oh, there we go! I time warped us out of it. We're fine now. It did destroy our heat shield though, so that's going to be interesting. Oh yeah, I forgot this does have RCS on it. Eh, whatever. I'm not going to worry too much about it. As long as we don't burn up, which it looks like uh, we're going to be okay. We were pretty close to orbital speed, but also these pods are pretty strong. Whoa! Due to aero forces and heat. I wonder if that only happened because of time warp, or if there's more to it than that. Oh. Okay. From here, everything should be fine, though. Oh, and of course I can't see my heading because it's under the text. Oof. And this is completely safe. I'm just going to go ahead and revert at this point. Hey, it's ready for lunch. Let's go. What could possibly go wrong? See? Separation. And then when the motors stop, drop that. Then fire those. Then fire our, main, our next engines. And watch the previous stage blow up into our stack. Hell yeah. And then, whoa, accidentally aim a little too far down, but then don't care anymore because our apoapsis is already really high, and the moon is already out of position, but oh well. All right, let's eject the top cone. Yeah, fired away very quickly, very easily. That was a lot safer. Now, I'll go ahead and stop here, and we want that stage to fall back to Kerbin, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop it off, which did give us a bit of spin, unfortunately. And uh, I may not be able to control that very well. We'll see. Uh, pushing W, pitching down, is causing us to rotate quicker. Okay. Right, let's just launch this. Very cool. Alright, let's go ahead and... Can I tell you to aim at prograde at least? Will you function that way? I'm just gonna... Yes, I cheated a little bit. So sue me. We have to turn around and redock. Set as target. Aim... Let's aim at the target. Let's go ahead and... As soon as that finishes, pretty much, we'll enable RCS. And... See, this is the easy part. It's actually really easy to just head right on through. And I'm just going to say control from here because obviously that's what we're going to dock with. And I'm going to go ahead and disable the RCS now. S smoother docking that way. Now, of course, we're pointing the wrong direction. So what we'll do is we'll say control. No, not from there. Control from here which then has us pointing retro... Uh, <laughs> prograde again! And I can go ahead and enable SAS. Let's go ahead and see where we are. Let's go ahead and warp around one more time just so that we're in a uh, better position to go for the moon. Huh, I thought they changed... Oh wait, what's my... Per oh shit, my periapsis is not... Uh, whoops, okay, let's fix that. I think it'd be a good idea to go ahead and fix that. Okay, this is going to be weird. It might eject the, the capsule. Okay, looks like it didn't. I really can't tell. Okay, no, it says they're still docked. Alright. Fire. And fire. I just realized those probably don't need to be there at all. Oh well, whatever. And there we go, we have our periapsis above the atmosphere. I think we're already heading back towards the moon. Yep, we are. All right, and it's turning around very slowly, which is what I want. Very good, very good. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. 
get it aiming better. Close enough, maybe? Okay. Whoops. Full speed ahead to the moon. Which, I mean, we have we, th this stage is overkill. Look at the look at the Delta V budget we have. We could we could make a whole nother orbit from this. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Ah! I just realized I could have used um, what you call it, the node things, you know, that tell you where to go. But uh, I'm lazy. We have tons of monoprop. I think more than we even need. I'm not sure exactly. I forget where all the monoprop is stored. Uh, the MEM has a bunch. We've actually used the, the MEM's monopropellant a lot. I'm actually going to refill that, probably, when we get to the moon. Or not, because I don't really need it. Hey, look. Pieces of rocket. Those are probably our discarded stages that didn't actually go into the atmosphere yet because they're too high. But shh, don't worry about that yet. Oh shit! Okay, no, no, you're gonna... Okay, good, good. Close enough. You know, they really should make the camera focus, instead of being based on you, based on your orbit. That would be so much more useful for orbital mechanics. Oh, hey, look, we're on a free return trajectory, but I'm too lazy for that. Let's go ahead and get an impact trajectory. Hell yeah. See, what we'll do is we'll get an impact trajectory. Now, we'll go ahead and stage, which should be, yes, that decoupler. Ta-da. Now we want to control from here. Just gonna make us flip around. So we're aiming the MEM. That reminds me. Oh, this is full of monoprop. Yeah, let's go ahead and uh, refill your electric charge too. We want the MEM to have our uh, full suite available to it. And now let's go ahead and forget to engage the engine. Uh, whoops. What is this? What is this? That's already been used. So I don't need it. Now that. Whee! I made it spin! And... Oh, our parapsis is already really high. Actually, wait, no, don't, don't point at retrograde. I can solve this with RCS. Close enough. Huh, I love this patch mode! That's so beautiful! Alright, uh, actually, can I just... Yeah, I'll just warp here. Now let's point retrograde, tiny... Let's bring that down to uh, about 5,000. Actually, I'm going to stick with near 6,000. And then we'll look at the moon that we're falling towards, roughly falling towards. Uh, oh, we might get a beautiful sunrise over the lunar landscape. That sounds like a good opportunity to enjoy. Yes, yeah, so we got a little lander, lots of fuel in the lander, lots of little tanks in the bottom part of the lander, and then a little upper stage and enough to get back into orbit. Obviously, of course, that's uh, what we'd want to have. And of course, we've used more of its monoprop and more of its electric charge, so I'm going to go ahead and tell it, nope, stock that all up. We got a little bit to go. In fact, our, uh, our burn is going to be before sunrise. In fact, our burn needs to be now. All right, we're at about 5,800. Let's get this down to about 5,800 as well, or 6,000, whichever. Mm, let's not let this get below 5,000. Okay, it's just below 5,000. It's not, it's not the best orbit, but it'll do. And apparently we have a connection to the KSC, despite the fact that we cannot see it yet. I normally uh, try to set those settings for the uh, occlusion to be a little more strict in my uh, career saves because 
I don't like getting a connection when I really shouldn't have it. Like, look, it's literally obviously going through the moon on the map. That shouldn't be real. We're going to get a nice sunrise here in a moment. Oh, what's the... No, not that button. Now, of course, I could do my landing here, but uh, doing the landing here is uh, going to be more difficult because of the lighting. And uh, because it's been a long time since I've done much space stuff, I want to make it easier on myself. So I'm going to wait till I'm till I have a little bit more sunlight to work with. Bob is the scientist. All right, transfer crew, Bob. Eh, I don't need to worry about anything else. Let's just go ahead and do this. Undock. And I want to be controlling this. We're going to go ahead and turn ourselves. Oh, we don't have any control without RCS. I forgot about that. Let's go ahead and extend our landing gear. And now our engine is enabled. I'm going to go ahead and use some of this RCS fuel because it's free and easy. Well, because we have a lot of it, and using it earlier in your flight actually makes for a more efficient flight. Let's go ahead and just fire up the engine. Full throttle. Get ourselves pointed towards the ground soon. Well, not pointed towards the ground, but get ourselves falling, at least. This has less RCS fuel on board than I thought it did, so I'm going to conserve it a little bit more than I originally intended to but not a huge amount. I won't need much for re-establishing orbit anyhow, so not too worried about it. Oh, look at that. We only have the tiniest little windows to see out of. So neat. It looks so much scarier from in there because like, you just see the ground far below moving, and you can't really see exactly how far it is. Oh look, our vertical speed was going up, and now it's going to, uh, it's not going down yet, actually. And look at the delta-v we have on this lander stage. Yeah, this thing's overbuilt. I intended that so that it's something that you can land with and work with, even if you don't have a lot of experience, even if you're not very good with landing or flying. I tend to like to build things with ridiculous safety margins because then you can just have fun and not have to worry. I do not like the way this is clipping though. I had not noticed this clipping before and that makes me sad. But oh well. This is not a huge concern. I'm going to go ahead and toggle us off of the, whatchamacallit, falling retrograde and have us just following this line for now, because I want to kill more of our orbital speed before I start dropping. Well, or rather, I don't care as much about dropping some speed right now. Far C? Oh! I didn't realize I had FAR installed. Interesting. I genuinely didn't know that I had... <laughs> I didn't realize I had installed it. That's kind of funny. Anyhow, our horizontal speed is, well, it's still dropping. It's still going to take a little while. In fact, I want to turn that down, or turn that to ground sensors so that we can actually see where the ground is. We are falling quite fast now, though, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, I'm going to go ahead and set us to retrograde. We're definitely going to need it. And how are we doing on monoprop? Still good. Still plenty left. I don't remember what our thrust to weight ratio is on the moon. Eh, not that bad. Not great either, but not bad. Hmm. The angle we're coming in at, 
does not bode well. Yeah, I'm going to have to kill more of this vertical velocity, in fact. A lot more. In fact, we might die right now. Yeah, we're going to die. We're going to die. There's no avoiding it now. Whoops! Hey, look! The little docking port survived! At least for a few seconds. So we get to enjoy that. So, uh... But <laughs> something just blew up in space, lol. Uh, better luck next time? I mean, should we let Bill live? My thinking is, uh, he just had to watch his crew dive and was... had to watch his crew die and was driven insane by the sight. And so he's, um... Well, he's kind of lost it. Poor Bill. I'm not planning on him returning. We don't have the Delta V for him to return. I'm just planning on him surviving the landing. Now, you'll notice our Delta V is actually increasing slightly, and that's because we're ditching all this monocrop. Our altitude meter here is essentially act acting as a seconds tail impact meter as well. And we are on very low throttle, though, so we will be able to um, drop this quite quickly when needed, which, when needed, will be quite soon. Uh, just to be safer, I'm going to go ahead and floor it right now. And now it's essentially... Well, I've reduced our rate of falling quite a bit. Twenty, twenty-seven. Uh, let's let it get down to twenty. Oops. Okay, okay. I did mess up my landing slightly, but that's okay. Alright. No worries. Now we're just going to fall over very gently. And I'm going to turn off the RCS. Turn on the engine. Oh, it's out of fuel. Oh, I... Wow. That's, uh, that's pretty close. That's pretty close, that is. Anyhow, you don't need that anymore. It was only holding you down. Hold on, can I manage to flip you over? Come on, the moon's gravity is so weak. Let me flip it over onto its... Wait, nope, nope, uh, yes, no, maybe, so, I, now we're just a disco. There we go. Okay, no, 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 just, just, there we go, I wanted to set it flat. All right, Bill, welcome to your new home. Uh, yes, remove, damn it. I was really hoping that would let me do it, just because... Yep. Oh, this is dumb. Well, welcome to Moon Base Alpha. Alright, I feel like this is a good enough spot for the flag, right? Oh, there we go. And everything is just as it should be. Oh, it's pretty much... You know what? It's close enough. Let's just fucking do it right now.